What's going on guys, my name is Riley and today we have finally, after many, many long hours of searching and failing, I figured out how to kill Jason, oh, wow. and we're going to share exactly how to do that today. Before we start though, I will say that the satisfaction of discovering it yourself is a great thing, and perhaps you may want to do that yourself. If not, and you just want to get it done, then go ahead and keep watching. With that, let's jump in to step one. First things first, before you even start the game, you need to make sure that someone in the lobby is running with a female character. It doesn't matter which one. But you will need a female for one of the later steps. I prefer Deborah. Now, I also recommend that other players in the lobby use stronger characters, like Bugsy, in order to help beat down Jason when needed. This, however, is not required. Now, once you're in the game, go ahead and start by having the female character hunt down Jason's shack, which will have a random spawn each game. This can be tricky to find from time to time, but once you start to figure out the spawning locations, it should get easier. Once the female character does find the shack, go inside where you will find Pamela's shrine. This is where Jason has left his little custom memorial for his mother. In front of his mother's head, you will find her sweater, which the female characters can wear. Go ahead and put it on, and let's move on to the next step. For step two, you'll need to get Jason's mask removed. This is where those stronger characters come in handy. You can use pretty much any weapon to remove his mask, but after a ton of testing, I will say that we've had the most luck with the axe and the machete, and that's for obvious reasons as they tend to be the strongest weapons. Once the mask is removed, you can go ahead and grab it, but this also is not required. Now for the next step, you're going to have to call in Tommy Jarvis. The radio to call him in uh, could spawn in any random cabin uh, somewhere on the map. If you find the cabin that has the large red and white tower outside, that is the place to go. Once Tommy is called in, at least two counselors will have to be killed in order for him to actually spawn in. Once Tommy is in, the player using him must find a machete, as this will be used for the final blow to Jason. Once the machete is found, meet up with the female character with the sweater, and it's officially game time. When close enough to Jason, have the female character use the sweater on Jason. This will have her start acting like his mother, very similar to Jenny in part two, and will freeze Jason mid-swing. Jason, mother is, mother is talking to you. The weapon. Once this happens, hit Jason over the head. He should now drop to his knees, bringing us to the final step. Tommy should now have a prompt to finish Jason off. Activate that prompt and watch you defeat the most iconic slasher in history with some fancy slow-mo and cinematics to go along with it. Oh my god. You know what your gift is. That's good. No matter what they do. That's my chase. You cannot die. You can never die. We get it, boys. Now, when in private match, this may seem pretty easy, but once Jason is fighting back, it's a whole different story. Jason is able to fight out of that sweater distraction pretty easily, so everything needs to happen quite quickly and effectively. Well, guys, that is how it's done. It was a blast trying to figure this beast out, and what a relief it was when we did. I hope you guys enjoyed and managed to take him down yourself. If you enjoyed, feel free to drop a like and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.